Hello guys, it is day four of this eclipse portal, which again is like a birth canal. We are all going through um, some big energy right now and it's pretty exciting and we get to really make some big shifts. So today we're dealing with issues of security. The Scorpio Taurus axis deals with issues of security. Taurus loves to be cozy and comfortable. Scorpio is obsessed with loyalty and uh, you know, the loyalty and betrayal energies, like the seesaw of that is a Scorpio issue. And so you can see how security is going to be really important to Scorpio and Taurus. Scorpio cares about security because security is kind of the opposite of betrayal. Security goes with loyalty. Taurus cares about security because Taurus desperately needs to be comfortable and financially secure. Uh, so this axis, this axis going from Scorpio to Taurus, because right now the south node is in Scorpio, the north node is in Taurus for the next 18 months-ish. Uh, this axis encourages everyone in the whole world to seek security at all costs. And we can see how this is already starting to show up as far as um, internationally, different nations kind of freaking out about how to keep themselves secure. and from other nations, from invasions, from conflicts, um, but also from like they want food security. You know, Sri Lanka it, back in mid-April actually defaulted on its national debt so that it could continue buying food for its citizens. So, uh, so this is a manifestation of that security at all costs kind of mindset. And uh, you can see it on a personal level right now. Rising prices are going crazy. Everyone's going crazy about the costs of, of items that they need at the grocery store. And, you know, over and over on Facebook, I'm seeing people saying, you know, how can I work from home? How can I earn more money? I just need to have this financial security. Why? Because of land and food, right? Food is going to be a Taurus issue as well. So this all everything that we're seeing on a national level, like the flavor of it, a thousand percent has to do with the astrological nodal axis that we're going through right now for between January of 2022 and June, July of 2023. So today we're working on security. Go ahead and close your eyes and imagine a tube of divine light shining down on you and your home containing information about security. This light will enlighten your body and your home on where you are secure and where you need to be more secure, and on what actions you need to take to become more secure. So you're just receiving a bunch of clarity on what is your current situation, what is your future situation, and how you can take practical steps to make sure that your situation just goes as easy as possible for you in every way. And remember that sometimes the best security is actually just trust in the divine. Maybe sometimes it's not about accumulating food storage or stuff or items. Sometimes it's just letting go and trusting that God's got your back and that everything is happening at the right time. So just breathe in that tube of light. You don't have to understand it. You don't have to know. You don't have to come away from this exercise with an exact, you know, action item. All you have to do is breathe into it and know that your brain and body are rewiring and instinctively knowing and that these answers are going to show up for you organically. You don't have to work for them. They will show up for you organically. So breathe that in. And when you're ready, open your eyes and we're going to do a journaling prompt. Again, you write down these questions and then just skip a line and start writing and see what shows up in your mind and just go with it until it's done and don't judge it. And then you go back and read what you wrote. So you'll want to pause the screen and write these questions down and work with them. The questions are, where am I lacking security? And then what might the divine be inviting me to do about this? Okay, so we're just opening up our minds and our hearts to notice, you know, what is already weighing on us about our lack of security and what might God in the universe be uh, hinting at us to do? What are the action steps that they might be 
hinting at us to take part in. And maybe you'll get an easy answer and maybe you won't. And either way is fine. Either way is fine. Don't beat yourself up over it if you don't get the, the super clear answer that you were hoping for. It's okay. Um, but I do encourage you to give this a try and just see what shows up. Let's go ahead and tap. Tap on your forehead or your collarbone and we're going to say the following three times each. It can be safe to know where I am not secure. It can be safe to know where I am not secure. It can be safe to know where I am not secure. It can be safe to know where I am secure. It can be safe to know where I am secure. It can be safe to know where I am secure. It can be safe to trust in divine inspiration to know how to secure myself and my dependence more thoroughly. It can be safe to trust in divine inspiration to know how to secure myself and my dependence more thoroughly. It can be safe to trust in divine inspiration to know how to secure myself and my dependence more thoroughly. I am now open to receiving divine blessings that enhance my security. I am now open to receiving divine blessings that enhance my security. I am now open to receiving divine blessings that enhance my security. I accept all blessings that enhance my emotional, physical, financial, and spiritual security. I accept all blessings that enhance my emotional, physical, financial, and spiritual security. I accept all blessings that enhance my emotional, physical, financial, and spiritual security. Go ahead and put your hand on your heart. Deep breath. It can be safe to find clarity about issues of security today and during this Holy Eclipse portal. So breathe it in. You are safe. It is safe to know. It is safe to be clear. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow.